Hi everyone. In this lecture, I will again discuss the transient analysis of some first order RL circuits. So you have two switches S1 and S2 in this first order RL circuit. Switch S1 opens at t equal to 0, which it has been closed, it's be, it's, it, it remained closed for a long time, for t less than 0, S1 was closed and for t greater than 0, S2 is closed and S1 is open, okay. So uh, that's what is shown here. Now before t that is for t less than 0 the circuit was actually reduced to something of this form. So we can assume at some time before t less than 0 the circuit was actually to switch powered up or switched on and then we are supposed uh, sorry in this problem let me just finish the problem in this problem you are supposed to find the inductor current il of t as a function of time okay so first i'm trying to plot the circuit or draw the circuit for t less than 0 for t less than 0 this circuit uh, we can assume that this input was you know applied at a very very long time ago at, i mean when i say ago it, it 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 had happened at a time much before t equal to 0 okay so we can say somehow the network had the circuit had actually built a current inductor takes some time to build a current the final current in the circuit is simply Vx upon R okay, and it has been constant throughout till t equal to 0. Now the instant the switch is open at t equal to 0, the circuit is going to change to something like this. Now this inductor current cannot go to 0 instantly. So in this circuit, the two resistors, now there is no external power source. So the two resistors are now going to the inductor, see the, previously the inductor had a stored energy of half L I square, I naught square and I naught is Vx by R. I am going to call I naught as Vx by R. Okay. Now the voltage source is now removed and the inductor is now put in series with two resistors as shown here, as shown here. So therefore the resistors are now going to dissipate away all the energy stored in the inductor. We know that already. So we just need to find the time constant with which it's a single first order system. There is only one inductor. So we just need to know the time constant with which the current is going to decay down to zero. Okay. So we can also see in the steady state, the circuit will simply reduce to something like this, 2R and R. So there is no external source or power source in the circuit. It's just circuit comprising of two resistors. So the current has to be zero in it, okay, the steady state. So we know that the final value of the current is zero, the initial value of the current is Vx upon R and it's going to decay down with the time constant given by L by equivalent resistance here is 3R. The initial charging, I mean whatever the current it had built, the initial charging time constant was L by R because in this circuit it was only L by R. But the discharging time constant is different. So that's what we wanted to show. I mean, I wanted to show it through this problem. Okay. So al along the similar lines, we'll solve another problem. So again switch S1 opens at t equal to 0 and S2 closes at t equal to 0. So again we can say that we are again supposed to plot the inductor current that is the current through the inductor IL of t as a function of time. 
for t less than 0 it's pretty simple we already did that you know the current f at, at reaches a steady state value in the inductor given by vx upon r now the instant the switch s1 is open and s2 is closed the circuit reduces to something of this form so now this is already carrying a current i0 the initial current i0 now that current will suddenly flow through the resistor okay and a voltage will develop across the resistor now this voltage is now slowly start going to build a current in the other inductor okay and as this inductor starts building current the voltage across the resistor will reduce and the current in this inductor will also reduce and reach a final steady state value so finally we will have a steady state current looping through the two inductors because the voltage across the inductors will go to zero eventually so there won't be any current in the resistor but you will have current looping in the inductors now we need to find what is the final value of the current and we know the initial value of the current which is vx by r to find the final value we have to use the flux conservation the initial value of the current is i mean flux is l into i not which is l into vx by r the final current which is flowing in both the inductors i'm going to call it i dash it will be l plus l so the final current is going to be vx by 2r half of what the initial value was so this is going to be vx by 2r and it's going to decay down with the time constant given by l equivalent by r l equivalent is l by 2 so it is l by 2r okay we uh, we already solved a similar problem for capacitor i'll just quickly draw that circuit as well So this was a very similar problem to this the switch opens here switch closes here so a capacitor has initially stored the voltage of vx across it and now it's connected through a resistor to another capacitor now this initial voltage is vx this capacitor voltage will keep increasing eventually it reaches a voltage when this potential this potential and this potential become equal the current to the res resistor will become zero and we found what is the steady state voltage using the charge conservation okay it comes out to be vx by 2 so you can very easily show that the initial voltage was vx at t equal to 0 it will start from vx I am trying to plot the voltage across this capacitor it will start from vx and then go to vx by 2 okay so it's a very similar problem here here we have used flux conservation and uh, so in fact you can see it's a dual I mean th there is something called dual network in circuit theory so it's this circuit L, R, L in parallel is simply a dual of uh, capacitor, resistor and capacitor in series. Okay. So you can look it up what a dual, how to draw that. It's a very simple, there's a very standard procedure to draw the dual circuit. So you can look it up and study about it. So here my main point is to illustrate the flux sharing here. And the third problem again we have a similar arrangement of switches okay I am just changing the network that we are connecting here in all the three problems I kept changing these networks okay and so in this circuit again you are supposed to find the inductor current as a function of time so for t less than 0 it's the same as the previous problems the final current is going the initial current is going to be Vx by R okay it should have taken some time to build this current but we are assuming it's already built it okay now for t greater than 0 the circuit will reduce to something like this so l l and r so this inductor is now carrying a current of i naught which is vx upon r now we already analyzed a circuit like this in one of the previous lectures 
I said the instant there is a current I0 in this, now this is trying to force a current I0 through the other inductor. So there will be an impulse of EMF induced between the two terminals for the other inductor. That in turn will reduce the current in the first inductor as well. So it's going to instantly it's going to attain a steady state value of current or sorry uh, instantly it's going to attain, attain a different value of current at t equal to 0 okay so if you look at the previous problem the current had a path it, it didn't have to flow through the inductor so there was no impulse of voltages okay so if you look at the previous problem in this circuit what I showed here was that there was an initial current in this part which is I0 that fully flowed through the resistor so because of which there was a drop of I0 into R at t equal to 0 which was finite okay but now in this circuit the initial current I0 doesn't have any other path it has to go through the inductor itself and for that to happen the inductor needs to develop an impulse of voltage and if this inductor develops an impulse of voltage this inductor should also have because KVL has to be val va validated so K sorry KVL has to be valid so therefore this inductor will also see an impulse of voltage change across it and its current is also going to change okay so that changed value of current can be used can be obtained by using the flux conservation so I can use L I naught equals 2L into I dash so your I dash is going to be I naught by 2 which is Vx by 2R so suddenly when the switch closes at t equal to 0 plus the current is going to reduce to Vx by 2R after that then I, I can simply treat it like a single inductor of value 2L carrying a current of I0 by 2. See again flux is conserved so the product of L into I will be same and the circuit reduces to this. So this resistor will dissipate all the remaining energy in the inductor and the current will go to 0. So now the time constant here will be 2L by R. Okay. So again, um, I'm not drawing it systematically using equations and all that. The whole again, the whole purpose of these lectures is to just draw the write the outputs just by intuitions. By just looking at the circuit, you should be able to write the draw the waveforms. Okay, and especially for first order circuits, it's very easy to do it. Okay, and second order circuit, there is a slight complication. We'll we'll discuss about that in the coming lectures. Okay. Again, I have discussed a very similar problem in capacitors when we discussed about capacitors. So we had a similar arrangement of capacitors okay so this capacitor was initially charged to Vx now after t equal to 0 so there was a voltage of Vx across it the circuit reduces to something like this now the instant you are going to apply a sudden voltage this this capacitor is going to now see a sudden change in the voltage so there will be an impulse of current flowing through it which will again change the voltage across this capacitor this, the first capacitor as well okay and that we found out using charge conservation the charge was initially at t equal to zero suddenly flowing between the two capacitors so from that we found the initial value to be we can show that it was vx by 2 okay then you can treat it like a single capacitor of value 2c with a voltage Vx by 2 stored across it connected by a resistor then the resistor is going to fully discharge this capacitor so the capacitor voltage was initially Vx suddenly drops to Vx by 2 at t equal to 0 after that it just decays from that point to 0 for t greater than 0 and the time constant before I mean this was the charging time constant for the capacitor is Rc the discharging time constant here is 2Rc 2c into r okay so here as well in the same way in this problem the char the discharging time constant is 2l by r okay the charging time constant was actually l by r so here there was a sudden step change in the current of the inductor and eventually after that it decays down to 0 at t equal to infinity so again this is a very similar problem to that it, but we did it in capacitors so uh, with this I have discussed basics of first order RL circuits okay so in the next lecture I think I'll very soon start with resonance and uh, or, or probably a little bit more about practical inductors and capacitors and after that into second order circuits and resonance so I'll stop at this point